What's up guys, hope you're doing well. Here is our video for Saturday. This will apply to both the single dumbbell, single kettlebell track, as well as our body weight track. A reminder, if you need a refresher on the warmup, there's a separate link posted at the top of this day's program. So let's dive into our strength. This is gonna be sandbag get-ups. If you've never done sandbag get-ups before, there's a quick tutorial there for you. Make sure you watch and practice a little bit before you get into your timed component. So your working component is six minutes to accumulate as many perfect sandbag get-ups as possible. What we need to do is most of you guys won't have a sandbag. You need to find something around your house that, that can mimic a sandbag. That can be a pillow, that can be a backpack, that can be something that just sits lightly on your shoulder. This is a really technical movement where we're really focusing on moving through the specific steps with good intention. So you don't need a heavy load here. All right, if you've done the movement before, you feel good about it, like feel free to pursue something with a little bit of external weight to it, but it's not really necessary to get the stimulus that we're after. After you've done your practice and you've gotten a feel, set that clock for six minutes, accumulate as many perfect reps as you can. Today's workout, the broomstick mile. This was meant to be a longer, grindier workout where we're gonna be chipping away at the rep scheme and at the movements, all right? We're expecting this to be in kind of the 15 to 25 minute range. And your goal is to maintain quality and consistent pace from start to finish. So we have uh, the option of doing this with a broomstick or something that mimics a broomstick, a PVC. Uh, if you have the luxury of having a barbell, you can do it with an empty bar. You can also do this with a single dumbbell or kettlebell. So you're gonna start with your squatting versions. You have 25 reps of each one. So I have 25 reps of the back squat, 25 reps of the front squat, 25 reps of the overhead squat. I'm gonna then take off my first run. The runs are 400 meters. Uh, what you can do is you can take that down to 300 or 200. Uh, the goal is to be within the two to two and a half minute range. A great way to run in this fashion at home is just to run out for a minute and back for a minute, all right? You don't really know how far you traveled, but you're hitting the perfect stimulus with that timed component. You're also welcome to jump rope instead. If you have one, the jump rope would be somewhere between 150 to 250 singles to mimic that 400 meter run. When you return from that first run, now we're gonna go into our pressing variations, 25 strict press, followed by 25 push press, finishing with 25 push jerk. Okay. You'll take off on your second run or your scale of, then we come back and we do 50 deadlifts. For the deadlifts, just going to mid shin, um, taking off on another run, and then finishing with 50 power snatches. Just below the knee, catching in the power position. All right, you'll take off on one final run after those 50 power snatches. Let me demo the movements real quickly. If you're using a dumbbell, right, you can also do this with the kettlebell. The back squat's a little funky with the kettlebell. The overhead squat's a little funky. All right, so let me demo the dumbbell first. So I'm gonna go kind of prisoner style here for my back squats, uh, for my front squats here. And then for the overhead squat, I'm gonna go one arm only. Okay. For the one arm variations, you'll note there's 25 reps. It's your choice on when you switch. You do have a goal on being as even as possible. All right, so that'll apply to all the pressing variations all right, that'll apply to the snatches when you get there as well. So we have the option here. If you have a kettlebell and it's uncomfortable or a dumbbell and it's uncomfortable to put it on your back, just double the number of front squats. Okay, that can be for your overhead squats as well. All right, just do front squats instead if that's all you're comfortable setting up as opposed to doing the overhead or the back squat. All right. The next movements, we'll do our pressing variations. If you have a single dumbbell, strict press. Remember, you decide how you split up the reps between arms. Right, push press and push jerk. All right. Then the next movement, I'm gonna grab dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm going in between my stance for my deadlifts and then finishing with dumbbell snatch. 
okay? Or kettlebell snatch if that's what you have. Remember that you decide on how you split those repetitions between arms. Cool? So there is a scaled version here. Make sure you take a look at that. We don't want you working for 40 minutes. Uh, it should be in that sweet spot. 15 to 25 is about right. Uh, so feel free to pursue that scaled option, which takes down the repetitions and the distance here just a bit. All right. Hope you guys have fun today. Uh, make sure you check in at Complete, Complete West, uh, and let us know your times and how you're doing. If you guys need help or clarification on anything for the workout or you have feedback for us, please let us know. See y'all.